Hello guys, uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Sahib and uh, I'm here uh, trying to help you with uh, uh, an Eve NG lab that I created with uh, a lot of uh, good ideas and uh, it's kind of a CCI level lab that you'll be able to practice a lot of technologies like uh, ASA, firewall, uh, VRFs, uh, BGP, traffic engineering, side-to-side uh, -side VPN, DMVPN, DHCP, and even I include an, an ICE uh, version if you want to, to practice uh, all the ICE uh, activity. This will be a video to explain the lab in general, and then after that we will have a multiple uh, videos that we will go in deeply in each area of the lab so you have a full idea about uh, how it's configured and what's expected from you uh, to troubleshoot or add some ideas so thank you very much uh, to watch this video and uh, let's begin in order to start with the, inter uh, the internet cloud is the first uh, area that it's connected to the internet and also it's connected to uh, a remote uh, user with Windows 7 uh, version. Uh, also the R27 is representing the NTP and the DNS server of the lab. And also we have here a, a, a web version, uh, like a website, uh, which is hosted somewhere in the internet. Uh, with the borderlesssecurity.com. The PGP is 101 for the Internet Cloud. This PGP is connected basically to two uh, ISPs, ISP1 and ISP2. ISP1 is working with uh, PGP600. Uh, this is his uh, internal range. And it has a lot of uh, routers in, in, in inside the, the ISP1. R1 will represent the router reflector and R2 is represent the second router reflector and I represent the red lines over here is the call the connectivity connect with the R1 and the green lines are connected to uh, all the connectivity that connected with uh, R2. Uh, we have a three VRFs in all the edge routers and you can see it's uh, A is the internet, B is the files DNA, and C is the borderless security uh, BRF. And you can see over here ABC, that's what I meant by all these things. Inside the routing protocol is OSPF with area zero. If we go to ISP2, which is um, the range of the IP address is this one, and then the BGP 700, uh, the internal routing protocol is ISIS over here with area 70. As you see, also we do have here uh, uh, three VRFs, and we have also one VRF also here, which is connected to the internet. Then the edge routers come back again with the three VRFs. Then <coughs> we have here the uh, headquarter uh, for files DNA, which is uh, connected with two switches, and then we have active standby firewall. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we have two core switches over here and connected couple of switches and as uh, access layer. On the other hand, we have uh, files DNA branch one, which is almost exactly the uh, same uh, setup of the headquarter. We do have a side-to-side -side VPN, as you see it over here, between the two sites from uh, the ASA. If we go down, we have uh, two data centers, DC1 and DC2. <coughs> Excuse me again. DC1 is connected with BGP400 with these uh, internal range, and this is the external range. And uh, DC2 is connected with, VP, uh, with BGP500 with this internal range, and this is the external range. In DC1, we have a full uh, redundancy for the a firewall and also for the core switches, but in DC2 we have one uh, connectivity. Then we do have here a borderless security headquarter which is connected with the routers, uh, BGP300, and then we have here the sec borderless security branch one which is connected also with BGP300. And we have uh, 
routers connected to the PGP. Again, uh, all with VRFs, uh, A is the internet, B is the files DNA, and C is the border security. As you see, each uh, branch uh, or headquarters are connected with two uh, possibility with the uh, service provider. Data center always has a connectivity with two ISPs. One is the main and second is the backup. Same thing over here. We have for the DC1, we have the main connectivity to ISP1 with two routers, but we do have a backup line one and backup line two that goes to the ISP2. So uh, even we, if we lose the data center connectivity from here, we still have a full connectivity uh, on the other side. This is a general setup. Uh, I hope uh, you like the idea of the, of the lab. And uh, for the next video, we will start doing uh, more description about each of the uh, components of the lab. Thank you very much.